So North Korea's key military anniversary came and went with no large-scale provocation to speak of, but with South Korea and the U.S. still holding their annual joint military drills until the end of the month, experts suggest early May is when tensions could hit their peak. Kim Yo-san has more. Celebrating the birthday of its founder, North Korea unveiled what appeared to be a new intercontinental ballistic missile at its day of the Sun military parade on April 15th. Although the missile has never been tested, the North has hinted that it could target the continental United States. We will respond to all-out war with all-out war and to nuclear war with our style of nuclear warfare. At the same time, North Korea intentionally exposed signs of a possible nuclear test at its Punggiri test site in the northeast of the country, while directly threatening that it can press the button at any time. While there were no nuclear or missile provocations on the North key military anniversary on Tuesday, the international community cannot let its guard down. We conduct a nuclear test at a time and location of our leaders choosing. Watch or see the end of April when the U.S.'s Carl Vinson Carrier Strike Group leaves the region and when the joint military drills between Seoul and Washington end as the most likely time for North Korea to conduct another provocation. Some also say early May, when there are no joint military drills, could see tensions hit their peak on the Korean peninsula. It's highly likely North Korea will test the first propellant stage of an ICBM engine or test mid-range or long-range missiles with new solid fuel engines. However, given how unpredictable North Korea is, it remains to be seen how Pyongyang will act, especially given China's cooling ties with the regime and the close coordination between Washington and Beijing. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.